Hello, hello, and welcome to another day on the channel. Um, today, instead of doing some double masters drafting like normal, we're going to be looking at some standard decks and doing a bit of constructed. Today, I'm going to be looking at the number one deck in standard right now, which is a Jeskai Control deck. This deck wins with Gold Span Dragons, Magma Opuses, and Hinata Dawn Crowned while also using counter magic and removal to control the game, and expressive iterations, and Fable of the Mirror Breaker to ramp, or Fable of the Mirror Breaker to ramp and draw cards, and expressive iteration to keep digging. Mana base is basic. We have one Spell Pierce, two Spike Field Hazards, two Voltage Surges. The Voltage Surges are pretty good with any of our treasure makers like Prismaric Command, Fable, and also works with Bank Busters if we run out of charge counters on them, we can just sacrifice for extra damage. Spikefield Hazard is a removal spell that's also a land. We have Jawari Disruption that's a counter spell but also a land. We also have Make Disappear as a upgraded quench. And we have some more counter magic in the side to sideboard it out for better or worse matchups. We run two main deck negates. You run two Dragon's Fires, works well with our gold span dragons to deal the extra f damage. Expressive Iteration to keep digging. Bank Busters keep digging against um, sl slower decks. We have four Fable of the Mirror Breakers because it's just such a good card. It's two threats. It helps fil or filter through your cards. Oh, it's all pretty good. Prismaria Command can do a lot of things. Draw cards, destroy artifacts, create treasure tokens, and deal two damage. We have Hinata Dawn Crowned as a white card that we're splashing in main deck. This basically turns all of these counter spells and removal spells into one mana, and can turn Magma Opus into only two mana if needed. We also have Gold Span Dragon as a threat and a way to turn our treasures into a lot more mana and ramp. And then Magma Opus as a big damage dealing board stabilizing card. We also have a bunch of lands including of um, so, an Odawara and Hall of the Storm Giants as a pseudo finisher and, well, a tempo kind of Odawara legendary land. We have one basic in the deck so we don't get strip mined whenever a Field of the Dead comes along. And onto the sideboard, we have three Flame Blessed Bolts against aggro decks along with an, two Dragon's Fires. We have Disdainful Strokes. And Reckoner's Bank Busters against like more controlling decks. We have Test of Talents against um, Mirror the Ma Mirror Matches. Memory Deluge as some more card draw. And four Valorous Stances. Valorous Stance works pretty well against the Esper mid-range decks and other versions of this deck because we can just kill their only threats, which are all toughness four. But that is the deck, and I will see you all in the matches. Here we are in match one against Prumo. We will be on the draw. And this hand doesn't have gold span or anything, but it has a lot of removal to hold out till any to something. And a Magma Opus for later games, so we'll keep. They mulliganed once, so they're keeping six cards. They play a Lava Glide Pathway, so this is probably a mirror match. So we can play the Spike Field Hazard tapped. Since they won't have any targets for it. We will play this as Pillar Verge and Cast a Bank Buster. This might eat in a gate, which it does. Oh well. They cast Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Well, we will definitely voltage surge that before they can do anything. And then if they like try and filter some cards and cast something, we have Jawari Disruption. They discard Hinata Dawn Crown, so they probably have a second one in hand, or just try and look for a land. They do not. They just pass a turn. Well, we'll play just a Jawari Ruins tapped and passed now that we have drawn Make Disappear. 
they get the reflection, and then they cast Bank Buster. That's fine. We can't really counter it. And Dragon's Fire, the reflection. They might have, like, counter magic, but then we can just recast another Dragon's Fire. So that's fine. Yep. We'll cast a Dragon's Fire main phase. And pass a turn. They play Ottawara. And pass. We'll play Jawari Disruption and slowly work our way up to a Magma Opus. They draw a card, sure thing. Yeah, Ma we're two lands away from Magma Opus, so it's not impossible to just hard cast it without ramp or anything. We'll play a Spike Field Hazard, pass a turn. They draw a card. And then they can draw a card and create a pilot. They cast a gold span dragon. Well, that's not good for us. On the plus side, this means. Oh, wait, never mind. Gold span dragon creates mana, so they can still hold up their counter magic for magma opus. Let's cast Expressive Iteration instead of running Magma Opus headfirst into Jawari Disruption. Let's put you into hand, you on the bottom, and you into exile. We will then cast Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Create a Fable. We'll play Jewari Ruins Tapped and pass the turn. They draw a card, create a pilot, and create a treasure. That's annoying, but fine. Yeah, them resolving that Bank Buster really just sealed the deal because that was an extra three cards they drew. And now have a threat. We'll take... We'll take eight. And then they kill the goblin. Yep, voltage surge. And then they just pass. We will discard two lands. Draw Hinata, Dawn Crown. Okay, that's step one to trying to get out of this. Okay, we resolve Hinata, that's good. And now we can just pass the turn, hold up Magma Opus. We can even hold up Make Disappear as counter magic against it. They cast Expressive Iteration. We could just Magma Opus now to stop them from possibly drawing counter magic. With counter magic backup, I think we're fine doing this. They get Fable. They crew the Bank Buster. We'll respond with a Magma Opus, dealing one damage here, one damage here, one damage here, and we don't really want to target this, but they already have infinite mana, so damage there. We'll tap you and you. We could deal damage to ourselves, but don't really see the point in that, besides preventing them from creating a treasure. Which, the treasure is definitely annoying, but they already have a ton of mana already. Another treasure isn't going to do much. Plus, we're going to tap it down anyway, so... 
They, if they have counterspell, will just make disappear. If it's March of Otherworldly Light, then that's fine. Do they think that they might have, or we might have more counter magic behind this? They cast their own magma opus. We'll tap this for two mana, let that resolve. We lose Hinata. But we still get to live for a bit. And we draw another Magma Opus. Okay. And then do they just pass the second main phase to get rid of our mana? Or are they just going to cast it now? Because if they cast Fable now, we can make disappear it. Make disappear. And now it is our turn. Let's see, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. Let's play a lava glide pathway. Move to combat. No attacks and pass the turn. On their upkeep. Four damage. Submit. Tap and tap. So we kill the gold span and tap their bank buster and elemental. So crewing it doesn't do much. We also do this on their upkeep so they can't draw count, uh, one more card for possible counter magic. They let it resolve. We draw two more cards, including a Voltage Surge. So we might be able to scrape one out of this if we're lucky. They cast the Bank Buster. Draw a card, yep. We have how many Dragon's Fires left? Two Dragon's Fires left or in the sideboard. Or we've cast two Dragon's Fires, so we don't have any left in the deck. Let's cast our own Bank Buster. We'll draw a card. Negate, perfect. We'll cast Fable of the Mirror Breaker. And we'll not play land so we can discard it to Fable. They make disappear, sure, we will pay. This makes it so we don't hold up negate, but if they're going to try and triple counter magic this, that's fine. Yep. We'll move to combat and swing for four. We'll hold back the other elemental to block a bank buster. And pass the turn. If all they drew was a bunch of counter magic, we're pretty happy about that. Hopefully they don't top deck Magma Opus. They play a land. Is this a Magma Opus? Yikes, if it's a Magma Opus, this is bad. 2-2, two, two, tap. On the Plus side, we're not... Never mind, we're just dead. Okay, on to sideboarding. Against the mirror match, we bring in Test of Talents. 
disdainful strokes and valorous stances. We cut the we cut the make disappears since they're too slow and not hard counter magic. We cut the prismari command and we cut the dragon's fires. And then finally, we will. Sh uh, we also play another bank buster. And then, what do we cut? We cut spell pierce, voltage surges, and one fable. Yeah, let's cut one fable. Yeah, the difference between being on the play and the draw is so much in the mirror match that, like, can most of the time determine who's the winner. We'll be on the play, and this looks like a fine hand. Turn to Bank Buster. Looks pretty good. We'll play the Juari Ruins tapped first. And pass the turn. Next turn, we Ottawara play Bank Buster. Or, actually, never ledge Pathway into Bank Buster. And now we have Card Draw and Counter Magic held up. Or, represent Counter Magic, more or less. They just pass the turn, we draw a card. Disdainful Stroke is nice, but we will just play land and pass the turn. Because we're in no rush. We got the card draw versus them. Draw a card. Drawing a Spike Field Hazard. We'll play that tapped. Pass the turn. Yeah, we could sideboard out Spike Field Hazards because they're not good in this matchup, but we they're lands, basically, so we need them. We will draw another card off of Bank Buster. And now we will try attempt to cast Hinata Dawn Crowned. It resolves with ease. We crew with Hinata, swing for five. And pass a turn. So they have no disdainful strokes. They might have negates in hand, which is why Hinata resolved. Yeah, that's probably what they have. They have negates. Which is fine. They cast their own Hinata, which we will disdainful stroke. And then they concede, yeah. This is what happens being on the play versus draw. Being able to hold that counter magic up one turn sooner. Here. You might board in Spell Pierce just be a tiny bit faster and cut a stance. Yeah, just to be a bit faster so we're able to catch up when they're on the play. <sighs> ah, it's early in the morning, sorry. Um, this looks like a great hand. Express Reiteration to help hit our land drops and draw cards. Jawari Disruption. Magma Opus, we can discard to ramp. Uh, let's play the Deserted Beach. They land into Bank Buster. We will play this as a red source and pass the turn. And then we'll discard Magma Opus if they just pass. Discard Magma. Then we'll cast Expressive Iteration. Which they spell pierce. Ouch. We'll play Sundown Pathway and pass the turn. <sighs> ah, sorry for yawning again. 
Yeah, next turn we can att maybe slam Goldspan if they just, like, cast Hinata now, which they don't. They just pass. And then we'll just... On our turn, we'll just cast Expressive Iteration. Hinata Dawn Crowned. That's a good one, but we can wait a second. Cast Expressive Iteration. And they Jawari Disruption. We'll pay. And then they don't do anything after that. Let's put Gold Span in hand. Uh, Mountain on the bottom at Ottawara in exile. Play Ottawara and pass the turn. Now I've got a lot of big chunky threats, so we're not too scared of uh, like counter magic. So we can like slam a Gold Span and pass or er, swing. They cast Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Yep. We'll play Sundown Pathway and cast Hinata Dawn Crowned. This will shut down any Magma Opuses or anything of theirs. It resolves with ease. So Magma Opuses and Counter Magic are both going to be more expensive thanks to Hinata, so things are looking on the up and up. Like, to cast it for 9 mana, they'd have to just target Hanada. And even then, that's pretty expensive Magma Opus. <sighs> Although Auto Tapper did screw me and didn't hold up blue for Jawari Disruption, so... Dang you, Auto Tapper! Yep, that resolves. Well, we're, we're gonna cast our own Gold Span Dragon next turn. They swing for six, which hurts, but Gold Span Dragons will help stabilize a bit. And by stabilize, I mean just get in a bit of pressure. I'm just gonna cast Gold Span Dragon now. Because if they do, we'll be very happy. They don't. They play it safe, and we draw our fourth gold span. Not that good for us. We'll play a gold span. Move to combat. They bounce it back to hand. Well, that's annoying. Yeah, being on the play and draw is so much of a game changer against the mirror match. I don't think we can win this one. Okay. On to the next game. And here we are playing against NJP. They will be on the play, so hopefully not a mirror match. This... This is fine. Yeah, we can just counterspell and removal our way to Goldspan Dragon. It's not the greatest hand, but it's a hand. Okay, so they're mono black. Magma Opus is a good draw, so we can ramp into our gold span. They Tenacious Underdog. And then they swing for one. We'll play a Mountain and Pass. Play another swamp. And do they cast Skullport Merchant? Maybe a 
um, uh, Deadly Dispute. That would make sense. Swing. We'll take it. It's just a bit of damage. And then we will discard our Magma Opus. We'll play a White Source. Pass the turn. We probably should have played a Blue Source there. That way we can hold up double... Oh, never mind, we can negate with the treasure. So, never mind. Playing our land's fine. Like that. We'll Voltage Surge the Underdog now. No, we will not sacrifice the treasure. And we still hold up Negate. They cast an Eye Twitch. And what else you got? Hmm. They might be considering if they want to deadly dispute here. What we're going to do on our turn is cast gold span and then swing. Yeah. So this is blue source. Slam a gold span. Swing, get a treasure. <sighs> yeah, it's early for me. It's like maybe 9.30 around where I am when I make this video. They take it. They blitz the underdog. I take five. Annoying, but fine. We will play Red Source into Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Swing, get a treasure. And pass a turn. Now we're holding up Channeling, Ottawara, and holding up Negate against a Blood on the Snow. Which it seems like they probably have, considering that they're attacking with everything. Or... I mean, I guess the Shambling Gas trading with a Goblin makes sense. So they might not have Blood on the Snow. Invoke Despair. Well, we'll negate that. Our turn, we'll discard Ottawa and land. Draw two Hinatas. We'll cast one of them. Swing. And pass the turn. They play Field of Ruin into the Meat Hook for four, which we will negate. And then, well, swing, get more treasures. They jump block, that's fine. They go to two. What do they learn for? Probably like a mascot exhibition or a necrotic. Yep, mascot exhibition. And we pass. Mascot exhibition won't do it here. They're going to need like a meat hook again. We'll spell pierce this. And then swing for lethal. Yep. On to game two for against mono black. We bring in the bolts. And do we bring in the fires? I don't think we do. Yeah, just the bolts. What do we cut? We'll cut a spell pierce. And the make disappears. Since being on the draw, the counter magic gets worse. Yeah, we'll throw it in like that. We sh maybe should have cut the bank busters instead of the um, uh, make disappears, but... I think that cutting the quenches on the draw makes sense. If you're enjoying my content so far, make sure to leave a like. It means a lot to a channel like me. 
that's just been starting off. And if you have any comments for any other decks that you want me to do, leave it in the comments and I will try and do that. This is an easy keep. Land into Eye Twitch. We'll just Flame Blessed Bolt that right away before they can deadly dispute with it. They land and say go. We'll play Storm Carve Coast and say go. Skullport Merchant. Yep. Hopefully they don't feel to ruin us because it's a strip mine, basically. We express iteration, put you in hand, you on the bottom, and you into exile. Play a deserted beach and pass the turn. They cast Lolth, Spider Queen. Yikes. Well, that ain't good. We'll cast Fable of the Mirror Breaker and play Jawari Disruption Tap. Uh. Let's... Yeah, let's play the Disruption Tapped. It's not as good at the moment. They don't cast Invoke Despair. That's a good sign. And then they just pass. And Magma Opus. Would you look at that. Jawari Disruption's nice. We will cast Gold Span Dragon. And... I don't think we swan. We'll swing at Loth. This this either this will get rid of the spiders or kill Loth either way. We're pretty happy. Yeah. Might have been a mistake to swing, but I think we it, we like it here. If they sacrifice Loth, we're happy with that. They deadly dispute, sacrificing a skull pour. Okay, so they don't kill we don't kill Loth, but we can just magma opus next turn. And kill everything. Let's see, we've got six, seven play land. So that's seven. We'll move to combat. We'll hold full control and swing at their face. And then magma, or resolve the treasure token. And then magma opus, dealing one, 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 one. Tap you and you. And I am a big dummy because they can sacrifice something in response. So Loth lives. We should have done more damage to Lolf. Oh well. Make some mistakes sometimes. We'll kill it with Dragon's Fire next turn. The Infernal Grasp our Elemental. Uh, invoke Despair. Do you want them to draw a card and lose a life, or a reflection? I th or do you want our goblin? I think we'd rather have um, them sat we kill our goblin than them draw a card and lose life, or and us lose two life. Here we can slam gold span without any repercussions. Swing for the Infernal Grasp. Well, 
They have a treasure open for this, so I guess we just Dragon's Fire. Um, Lolth, choose Dragon Control. Four damage to Lolth. We get treasure. And since they have that one treasure, we can't do much about that, so... That happens. Luckily, gold span number two will probably seal the deal. They cast an underdog. And... Deadly Dispute, Sacrificing the Treasure. Okay. And then an Eye Twitch. We will play land. Cast Goldspan Dragon. Move to combat. Swing. So they don't have removal, otherwise they would have killed Goldspan before we got the chance to swing. They have another Deadly Dispute. Yep. Probably learn for um, Necrotic Hex. Or Necrotic Fumes. Or... No, oh, they learn for Environmental Sciences. That's interesting. Second main phase, we'll cast a Bank Buster. And pass the turn. This way we can start drawing some cards and getting back into this game. They recast another eye twitch. And we'll just sacrifice a treasure to the bank buster to draw a card. Hive of the eye tyrant's definitely scary. They'll play another underdog. Swing. Best two cards to draw is Hinata, followed by um, uh, the Magma Opus. But we don't draw either, so let's just draw another card. Spikefield Hazard. Good card against Eye Twitch. Or so I hear. But they just sacrifice it to the skull port. They learn for containment breach. We'll swing for four. And then they can animate hive, but that's only ten damage, so we're not dead yet. They containment breach, they get a pest. They animate the hive. And swing for 10 damage. We go down to 1. Meat hook for 1 also doesn't kill us. Because we have Jawari disruption. As I said, meat hook for 1, but disruption. And top deck. Well, that doesn't do it. Yeah. On to game number three. Here we bring in the make disappears and cut the bank buster. Actually, I still like the bank busters in this matchup. Let's keep it how it is and run it back. This time we're on the play, so that definitely helps. And play this hand looks pretty good. So we'll keep. We'll start the game off with Spike Field Hazard. Because we have Flame Blessed Bolt in hand for any of their shenanigans. Um, actually, we might want the Spike Field, so maybe. Yeah, let's start off with Chawari Disruption instead. Yeah, we'll start off with Jawari. That way we can, like, lead into Red Source, cast Flame, Blessed Bolt, or Spike Field. 
And then we can play white source and have all five, three of our colors. Yep. Jewelry ruins. Pass the turn. <sighs> and then I twitch. So, yep, we will red source into spike field hazard that real quick. Land and pass. We'll play Deserted Beach and cast Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Get a goblin. They might Infernal Grasp the goblin, which they probably do here. Yep. But that is ultimately fine. They cast a Shambling Ghast. We'll discard Jawari Disruption. Draw a land. And then cast Hinata Dawn Crowned. This makes removal more expensive, especially since they missed a land drop last turn. They deadly dispute, which makes sense. Create a treasure. And they hit a land, so... That's annoying, but I twitch. We'll flame blessed bolt that. Into Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Yep, no learning for you. Uneducation is good. Don't read books, kids. No, don't. No, read books. Please read books. And next turn we can start discarding our lands that we draw for actual stuff. They meet hook for four. Yikes. Well, that sucks. Didn't have any... Ooh, but gold span off the top is great. We'll discard Flame Busted Bolt to try and find some more spells. Which we don't, but... That's alright. Gold span, swing for four. And pass the turn. Hopefully no more Infernal Grasps. Instead, we find, we see Lolth, the Spider Queen, and a Negate off the top hurts, since that would have been nice last turn instead of a Deserted Beach. But we'll play the Beach and pass the turn. Next turn, we can use the Reflection to start copying Goldspan. Ooh, Professor Onyx, we will negate that. Guess Negate was good for us, after all. They draw a card and lose life. And pass, and Magma Opus. Good top deck. What we can do is create a token that's a copy of Goldspan. Move to combat. Hold full control. Swing at their face. And then resolve, resolve, cast Magma Opus. Damage, or not damage. We can damage all of that their face, and tap the two spiders, and then this kills them. Now we have 8 damage exactly, and they are dead. GG's opponent, GG's. Here we are against Azura, and we're on the draw again. So that's a little annoying, but we can definitely win this as long as it's not a mirror match. After a long wait, which luckily you don't have to sit through because the power of editing, um, we will mulligan this hand. This is much better. And do we bottom the Opus? Let's bottom the Negate. No, I like bottom the Opus. Keeping the negate is good, just some counter some interaction. Now Oh, it looks like the mirror match. How fun.
Oh, it's Esper. Okay. This is more in our favor now. We'll play this on the blue side, and with Magma Opus drawn, we'll probably just channel it to get the treasure. That way we can gold span one turn earlier. While still holding up negate. Channel the Opus. Draw another gold span. We'll cast Fable of the Mirror Breaker. The Infernal Grasp are Goblin Shaman. And then they swing for three. Wedding Announcement. Well, that's annoying, but relatively fine. Do we discard both lands and risk not drawing a land? We'll just discard one land. Okay. Well... I'm glad we just played it a bit safe. We'll swing with our gold span and pass a turn. If they have removal, we can just counter spell it. Then we can play another gold span and keep that damage train going. And a Jawari disruption. Perfect. Another gold span. Obscura Interceptor. Would be a shame if you didn't have another mana to pay, now wouldn't it? Swing for eight. Create two more treasures. And pass a turn. If they have, like, Meat Hook to try and save themselves, which that doesn't do it. I'm not sure what they can do to dig themselves out of this one. Luminarch Aspirant. They swing for five. We take it. And then... What? They might have Infernal Grasp. But that won't save them. This will force them to Infernal Grasp the Gold Span now. Or Vanishing Verse. Which we will negate the Vanishing Verse. Swing for lethal, and that is game one in the bag. On to sideboarding. Bring in the Valor Stances. The Tests of Talents. And the Dragon's Fires. Cut the Prismari Command, the Spell Pierce. Um, the Make Disappears. We do like a bank, the Bank Busters. Eh, maybe we cut the Dragon's Fires. Yeah, like we added Valorous Stances and we already have Voltage Surges. Since we're on the draw, we can cut down on one Spike Field Hazard. Like, the Spike Field Hazard isn't going to hit much and... The argument for keeping it as a land is fine, but I think we'd rather just, like, cut it. Here, this looks like counter magic dot deck, so we'll keep. Yeah, the spike field hazard could definitely counter or kill a Obscura Interceptor, but that's a pretty niche scenario. They just pass, so we'll just pass. If they just, like, try and slam Rafine, that makes sense. We'll just play it slow, play Jawari Ruins, and pass. They probably have Negate held up or something. They Duress. We'll negate that. And then they pass. So let's cast Expressive Iteration. And then they make disappear. Oh well. Storm Carved Coast pass. And then they pass with no land. We'll cast Fable of the Mirror Breaker. They negate. We'll negate back. 
and get our fable online. They drew a land into a Legion Angel. That's not good for us. We'll discard two lands, see what we draw. A Fable of the uh, Mirror Breaker number two, which I do like over Gold Span here just because of the Angel. No tax, pass turn. They cast a Tenacious Underdog. And swing for four. Probably holding up counter magic. We can discard Hull and Jawari. And so we get a bad land and Jawari. We will play land and attempt to cast Goldspan. It resolves. We swing and create a whole lot of treasures. Next turn, we can Fable, copy Fable, and do that a bunch to get in for a ton of damage. We'll just pass. Vanishing Verse. Exile it, that's fine. Into a Luminarch Aspirant. Counter on the Angel. And then they just pass. <laughs> well, now it's dead to Valorous Stance. So we'll just pass. We'll just pass the turn and then make a whole lot of Reflections. The Illuminarch Aspirant. Counters on the... Two Luminarchs. They swing for five. That's good for us. End of turn. Reflection can copy Reflection. Which can copy Reflection. Which can copy Reflection. Which can copy Reflection. They really should have made Reflection of Kiki-Jiki legendary. Like, they, they really should have seen this coming. Well, that is another two wins in the bag. And I think that's going to be all the games with this deck. If you want to see more, leave a comment to let me know. I hope you enjoyed this new kind of content that I'm doing. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It means a lot. It takes only a second for you, but it means so much more to, uh, to me. Again, thank you for tuning in, and leave a comment down below what you would like to see. And until next time, have a good day.